Yo, what's up guys? Luigi Fan Wolf Street 4 here. I got a battle for you today against Jay the Battler. This will be a Yu Yu battle. Met him often in the tooth that uh he I was just asking for a Yu Yu battle around there. He was happy to oblige, so we just got we just got a battle and it seemed good, so I wanted to upload it. So let's just get into it. He has he sends out his Dawn fan, I send out my Steelix. Already it's kind of a bad matchup for me since uh, Dawn fan does carry the earthquake and could do a decent a uh, decent chunk, but I was like, eh, Steelix is a boss. I think he can take that very well. But then he it goes over half and puts a big ass dent to my Steelix. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna switch out and predict him to go for the EQ again. But no, he predicts me to switch out and goes for the head smash. I was like, oh my god, Rotom, please live. But Rotom does in fact live. I was just like, oh my god, Rotom, you motherfucking beast. Thank God Rotom was like, I think, pretty sure natural bulk and that head smash wasn't stabbed. But it was still like, what was that? What's it, like 120 base attack move? So I'm just going to go with the pain split knowing that he may switch out or like he may kill me one more time and I can just get more recoil damage. But see, I guess he does I guess he does not pursue to hit me since he couldn't have been faster and pursuit definitely would have killed my Rotom since the technician and life were boosted if he carried that. So... I'm just gonna stay and go for the safe T bolt, knowing that Shadow Ball won't be able to affect it. And if I went for the pain split, maybe he wouldn't back out to Dawn Fan, which kind of would have sucked, I guess, since he would carry. He probably carries the Ice Shard on it. So I go for the T bolt, get the Lucky Paralysis. It's kind of sucked since he said that Zathos was offensive and definitely would have had speed in my Rotom and would have killed me. So that kind that kind of sucks on his part. But at that battle, I was just like, whatever. Uh, get on to the battle. I'm such a dick right now. <laughs> So I'm just going to switch out, I guess, just trying to sack my Steelix, maybe he'll go for the V-Create, but I guess he goes for the U-Turn, knowing that U-Turn might have killed my Rotom since I, how much HP Rotom was in, so he's just going to go back, he's going to go back out into his Ambi Farm, he's going to hit me straight with the uh, low kick next turn, which is, be able to take out my Steelix, it's my Steelix, god, sorry guys, like, I'm feeling kind of sick right now, so, if you do hear the, like, the accent and, like, the nose, like, sniffing every 20 seconds, so maybe that can, like, leave a clue. So I'm going to send in my Alakazam, no, just go for the straight Psychic, knowing that he might switch out into something like that, like nothing even resisted except for Victini, which probably would have been made more sense, but I'm just going to keep firing Psychics onto this guy. Uh, I went, not oh, keep firing, god damn it, <laughs> this sickness is like killing me right now. So I'm just going to hit it with energy ball, almost KO it, and he goes for the Dragon Tail and brings me out into my Tornadoes. So I could, right now, this is my uh, physical Tornado, so I'm just going to go for the Crunch, hit it. Hit it and kill it. I did not go for the flying move or anything else since I do carry the flying gem on this, not anything else. So, right here, I wanted to go. F Wait, why did I switch? Oh yeah, I switched up knowing that he would have took any hit that I would throw. It. Even I had the flying gem acrobatics combo. I'm pretty sure Don fans like normal bulk would have would have been able to like almost kill me. I wow, I did not know he had a crit in this match. Actually, I thought it was just normal damage. Whatever, I guess he does get a crit with his head smash on a Meganium, and Meganium takes that very well, actually. So right now, I'm going to go for the synthesis, maybe knowing that he might switch out or something. And maybe knowing that he might switch out to like, something else. So, But now he goes for the rabbit thing just to spin out my rocks away. So this this kind of sucks, and Steelix is dead, so no more rocks. are gonna be, He's not going to be taking any more residual damage onto his team. Which kind of would have been helpful, since look what he brings out now, which is, is Victini. Why am I talking so fast? <laughs> so... He's just gonna bring up Vitini, and now, now I'm just scared. But I am gonna stay in, knowing that he won't go straight for the V create. Probably predicting me to switch out. So kind of a good play on my part. So I'm just gonna, knowing that he might switch out, I'm gonna go for the Toxic, predicting to switch out. And I do hit a nice poke to get Toxic, which is his Tanger Growth, will will help so much right now since he, Tanger Growth is one of the biggest pains in my ass. Even though I went down to RU, it could still be the biggest motherfucker you'll ever see in any tier. Just because of the regenerator ability and how much defense this thing could have. So I'm just going to switch into my Rotom, thinking that he might sleep out of me, actually. So, but he does double switch into this Victini, I guess. So he's going to switch out into his Amy Palm. I'm going to go into my Tornadoes. For some reason, in my head, I was like, oh, I could, I could kill this thing, no problem. But I'm like, wait, Technician, Life Orb, Fake Out onto Tornadoes does over half. So right now, I'm like, oh, I'll, I can just use Bulk Up for priority. Maybe I can life force stall him and live this hit, but no, he does. He does carry the return also, which will be able to take KO my tornadoes. For some of you who don't know what return does do, the matter of like how much happiness the Pokemon does have, the more power return will have. Out of so right now, I bring in my low tech. He brings in Tangerine. I already know that I will be faster than the Tangerine, and I will go for the Ice Beam. So 
He does live with a good amount of HP actually and goes with it and fires off a sleep powder. Kinda sucks for me since my Milotic could actually be a big threat into this match. Could Wallace Vitini and the Tanger Girls right? Actually, can't really wall Tanger Girls. It's just I have a, a very good move that can hurt this thing and it could have been easily to a KO. But I'm gonna switch out. I'm going to my Meganium and go for. Uh, what do I go for? Oh, yeah. Now I go for the aromatherapy, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I do. No, he, now he switches out and goes to, back into his Victini. Just going to fire off of, a, guess, another v -tree. But I do go. F I do predict him to switch out and go to aromatherapy. Not really a prediction. It's just, it's kind of it's kind of an obvious play to do since I already saw power up. It's not like he cares like a hit of power or something. Or any other move that will be super effective on Meganium. So I'm just going to let Meganium stay in and get hit because I thought he would actually predict me to go back out into my Milotic and go for the Fusion Bolt. Which would have which would have kind of sucked actually. So right now I'm going to go for my Alakazam. Go for the Shadow Ball seeing that he is not Scarfed. Actually, wait, what am I talking about seeing that he's not Scarfed? Ah, oh, I'm so dumb right now. <laughs> he went for the V-Cray which lowered his speed, special, de special defense and something else. I forgot what it was actually. So I'm just going to stay in, fire off another Psychic. I'm gonna fire another psychic. I'm gonna fire off a psychic on the down fan, and I'm gonna fire off another psychic to finish off this game on his danger growth. So that was a very good game. Thanks for the match, um, Jay the Battler. You guys should definitely check out his YouTube. I'm pretty sure he does upload battles. So thanks, thank you guys for watching. I probably will be uploading like in uh, Monday, Tuesday, and also, also I will be having. Uh, uh, what's it called? A winter break off school, which will be nice. So I will be have a week off school. So I will definitely be open to do anything on that week. So if you guys want to battle, or if, well, yeah, battle, just contact me on Skype or something, and we can just arrange a battle. God, I'm so stupid right now. Okay, before I get you guys bored, I'm just gonna end this video. So thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.